everybody, it's Jamie. We're kicking off Supernatural Week with a key wristlet. I'm not a huge fan of the big long old lanyards because they get caught on my legs when I'm driving. So I thought we'd make a cute shorter one out of some flannel. So let's get started. For this DIY, all you're gonna need is some flannel fabric, a little scrap of felt, and a key fob set, which comes with the actual key fob itself and the key ring. So first thing you're going to need is one, your flannel, and two, you're going to need two pieces of one and a half inch by four ten and three quarters inches of fabric. You're going to lay those face to face, right sides together. Make sure they're nice and flat and smooth and pin them. Once you're done pinning, we're going to sew them together with just a basic straight stitch at the preset and we're going a quarter of an inch seam allowance. If you feel more comfortable doing a half an inch, then you'll just need to add a half an inch to your overall dimensions. I personally like sewing at about a quarter of an inch. And don't forget to take your pins out as you go. Next, we're gonna take a safety pin and pin it into one side of the fabric, and we're going to flip everything inside out. Once we're done flipping everything inside out, make sure your seams are all nice and flat. And we're gonna put a piece of felt in just for extra stability. And that's going to be 7 eighths of an inch by 14 and a quarter. And uh, you're gonna put your safety pin through the felt and then feed it through your fabric tube. And then once you're done with that, make sure your seams lie all nice and flat. You can give it an iron if you like. And then if you're going to paint on any details, I would do that now. I just put a cute little DW on one side and SW on the other. And I just used basic acrylic paint. You can mix it with a fabric medium if that makes it a little easier, but since you're not technically wearing this product, it's not really necessary. And you're going to also want to make sure your design is above the thickness of your key fob. That way you're not cutting off anything. Wait for that to dry, and then we're gonna go ahead and fold it in half, and we're going to stitch along the bottom so that it doesn't slip while we're trying to put the key fob on it. And I gave that a quick zigzag stitch. I made it a little bigger than the normal preset size just so that the fabric fed through the machine easier. Next, we're going to do a straight stitch at full length. For that, mine is five millimeters, I think. And I'm just going to top stitch over both sides of the fabric so that it stays nice and flat. Just an extra decorative element. If you don't want to, you don't have to. And then go ahead and cut any loose strings off. Make sure everything is nice and clean and neat. And then we're basically going to shove it into the key fob. The key fob has two little spikes that'll catch the fabric so that it won't slip. And then you'll take some pliers and clamp that down. Now the pliers will scratch your key fob, so if you're worried about that, then I would put like a thin piece of fabric in between. But other than that, once you're clamped, you put your key ring on and you put all your keys and junk of key rings if you're anything like me, and you're done. That's it. It's very simple. You can do it with pretty much any fabric. And I like the little wrist length because it's easier to hold on to my keys and all I have to do is have a short swing and they swing right into my hand and doesn't catch on my knees while I'm driving. So I hope you guys enjoyed the first video of this year's Supernatural Week. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, follow me on all the junk that I have, and I will see you guys in the next video. Okay? Bye!